stage. Where is the criticism? Apparently, if you use an hourglass to announce new programming, that's apparently threatening. But screaming at a rage mob and telling them these two Supreme Court justices, there's a, there, there's a, there's something that there's something going to happen. There's something going to happen. There's a penalty that's going to take place. And from what I understand, Gorsuch wasn't even asking questions in this case. No, this is inexcusable, and it's fine. It's time to hold people accountable for for they're not even following their own rhetorical rules. Look, I'm I'm not like the left. If you say you know what, Chuck Schumer, if he comes out and says, let's start rolling this back a little bit. I went too far. I shouldn't have done it. Number one, it would mark one of the first times ever that a Democrat apologized for this. But number two, I would be willing to meet him on that common ground and say, you know what, I think it's great that you're apologizing. Let's nationally, everybody... See, this is why women should really be out of politics. This woman, Dana Lash, all in all, a wonderful lady. But they're blunters. They're blunters. Again, I will quote Socrates, women and slaves do not insurrect. They make noise and they bitch. What Chuck Schumer did yesterday was a declaration of war. Flat out. He's a Bolshevik. I caught that ugly son of a bee in front of Yankee Stadium. The Mets and Yankees were about to play right after 9-11. And that big mouth got out of his limo with a cell phone ensconced in his right ear. I'll never forget it. And I'm standing with two heroes. One a state trooper captain at the time, head of special services. And the other, one of the NYPD guys who got me into the World Series with my other friend. Because he had a pretty ranked job on the NYPD's Yankee Stadium detail. Normally worked at a Webster. Webster Ave, I think is the 5-2. And Chucky Boy gets out of his limo with his phone and yells to attract attention. The 10th Mountain Division just landed in Afghanistan. Right? Like all of a sudden, and I started, I just flipped. I got to tell you, I lost it. I started yelling, oh, what are you, a warmonger, Chucky? You, you all of a sudden, you're, you're all up for the program of defending America? And I turned to my two buddies, the cops disappeared. Like cartoon characters. Like barely a puff of smoke. I go, where did they go? They were so scared. You know? So, whoa. And that effing weasel got back in his limo. The weasel Chucky Schumer. And yesterday, he threatens openly in front of a hostile mob that Gorsuch and Kavanaugh are going to get it. They're sowing the wind, and they're going to reap the whirlwind. Well, Chucky boy, and this broad here, Lash, she wants an apology, eh? with her red clown lipstick on. You know, if it was war paint, I'd have some respect. I don't get that mascara stuff. I just don't. You know, this guy ain't wearing lipstick. I don't understand it. And especially like this loud lipstick. But I digress. I believe in honor and integrity. You are who you are. You are who you are. If you are got to paint your face, there's something disingenuous about that. I've always said it. But I'm a Spartan Greek by heritage, and my intrinsic nature defies this kind of objective feminine logic, which is, of course, an oxymoron. We are in a war right now in this country, and we call it politics. So let me tell you about politics. Us Greeks invented it, and us Spartans always knew the hypocrisy of an alleged democracy. It's one of those fictitious concepts like Camelot and Santa Claus. We were a republic. And if you really get down to the nuts and bolts between ancient Sparta and ancient Athens, it was semantics. Most people don't know that the Athenians had more slaves than the Spartans. The Spartans were ruled by two kings, but they were led by ephors, men of wisdom, who made the big decisions and counseled the kings on what they were to do. That's why Leonidas could not go to Thermopylae. It was a holy season called the Carnea. 
and the ephors wouldn't pr- wouldn't permit him to go with anything but his bodyguard because they had to pay homage to the gods. We used to have that kind of idealistic conception in America. We didn't make decisions without evoking God. You understand where their courage came from? Like our founding fathers and the patriots that built this country, they had courage because they believed in a higher calling than a bunch of powdered wig, half a you-know-what, sitting in some room making decisions for us. Like Chucky Schumer. Or how about Bloomberg, another member of the tribe, knocking Trump on health care. Spent over a billion dollars to get how many delegates? He could have bought Samoa for half of what he spent to get their delegates. But he's such a genius? Or is it because he's affiliated? What do you think elevates these people to such lofty heights? Is it because they're in concert? I think history pretty much proves what I'm talking about. Licking his fingers and then touching other people's pizza pie. That was Bloomberg. While he knocks Trump about the coronavirus. Trump, the one politician left alive in America who had the stones to shut down our borders so as to keep these unclean, uncivilized barbarians from infecting this country, which is what's going on. By the way, I've worked for many like Bloomberg. I had one boss many years ago. We were in an Atlanta market. He's got the flu. He's telling me he was up all night with the flu. And then he took his fat little fingers after wiping his nose and touching his mouth and broke a piece of pastry off a platter, put half it in his mouth and left the other half on the, on the plate. I looked at him like he was a five-year-old and said, Hey, Ed, are you kidding me? And I threw the whole platter in the garbage. I said, You have the flu, and that's what you do? See, Bloomberg, same thing. It's how they're bred. You look at somebody's behavior at the dinner table, and I'll tell you about the man, because it begins and ends there. This society is letting these pigs run amok. Bernie Sanders, a pronounced, announced communist. Can you imagine? That's the people that spawned the Bolshevik Revolution, which begat Nazism. That was a reaction to Bolshevism. Without Bolshevism, there's never a Hitler. A reaction to Bolshevism. It never would have happened. Talk to any enlightened German, they'll tell you. They were afraid of one thing above all, Cossack and Coleman, Bolsheviks, and people like Bernie and Bloomberg, they knew it. They were bullying the German people. And that's what you had yesterday with Schumer. Hey, he thinks he's untouchable. Chucky... You better never get within an arm's length of me. Chucky boy. This is a war. And pretty soon, it's going to be a hot war. Because it has to happen. They've pushed this society too far. 